Okay, folks, this is a super short tutorial on blueprints on how to make it look like you're picking up an object. This is a little bit of a setup for using variables to count collection of items in game. All right, so we currently have a BP cube, which is a square marker with a collision box on it set up to be a blueprint. I'm going to make a duplicate of this and I'm going to call it BP collect. Now, if you haven't done the other tutorials, no fear. You can quickly get caught up with us by simply adding a new shape of type cube, changing the Z to 0.7, turning this into a blueprint by hitting this button right here and calling it BP, oops, BP underscore collect. I'll, because I already have a collect, I'll say collect one. That will open up a new window here. You will then add a collision of type box collision. You'll move this up and scale this up so that it is tall enough to work, you'll compile it and save it. And then all the rest of the steps I'm gonna do to my duplicate of BP cube. So you should be able to follow along from there. So let's open up our BP collect that was my copy. Now, anything, anytime an actor steps onto the collision, this actor begin overlap will be tripped. Previously, we had a whole bunch of things where we were teleporting to a location, we were setting a new scale and all that business. And what we're gonna do is we're actually just gonna gut that out of this. And I'm just gonna delete that. Uh, we actually don't need that one either. Okay, so when the actor begins overlap, we are going to tell it to make something invisible. If I go over to the viewport instead of the event graph, right now there's the square that shows us where we need the step to make something happen. And then there is the collision box. But what I really need is some sort of object here to allow me to collect. And I think what I'm gonna try and do is I'm gonna select the top level of this and I'm going to add, and I'm going to try and add a static mesh. And that static mesh, I'm gonna try and use the statue from the starter kit. And so the way that I do that, after I've added static mesh, I go over here to static mesh, and I can either try and do it from the drop down, or I can drag it from the content browser onto that square. Let's do the second. If I go to starter content, props, the statue is here and I can drag that right onto there and it will now have that statue. Now, the problem is that I scaled the initial square to flatten it to be a marker. So I need to scale up the statue by 10 to make it be normal size. And then I'm gonna scale it up. Sorry, I'm gonna move it up so that it's sort of floating in space. Okay, now I have that. I'm just gonna compile and save, just in case I crash. And then I'm gonna go over to the event graph. Now, on the event graph, when I overlap, I am going to drag this off. And just to be clear, I'm picking this up with my left mouse button and then I let go of it. And then it prompts me to type in something to search and I can say set visibility. And I'm going to, because I have statue selected, it's going to default to set visibility statue. But what if I had something else selected? Set visibility. It could be anything on this. But I actually have the opportunity to select any of these things. But let's say I select the wrong thing. So I selected box on accident. Oops. I can very quickly, easy, easily delete that and then I can just grab the statue and drag it in 
and then I can connect it. So when actor begin, begin overlap happens, it triggers a setting visibility of the statue and the new visibility is set to false. So the statue will disappear. Let's compile this, save it, move this out of the way. And we don't have one in the scene right now. Um, I'm gonna delete this one that I set up as just a how to. I will go up to my main folder and I'm gonna BP collect. That's the one I want. I'm gonna drop it right there. Let's actually pull it up and then hit end. Pardon me. Hit end to bring it down to the ground. Press play. Walk over here and when I touch it, the statue disappears. So that is the way to give the appearance that something has been collected. We're essentially turning off its visibility and it did not have a collision in the first place. So I should be able to just walk. Oh no, it does have a collision. Mm. We're gonna have to look at turning it off off completely. Um, the other alternative is with an object like this because I'm just collecting it, what I might do is under collisions, I'm just gonna say collision presets and set that to no collision. Now, when I go and grab it, I can just walk straight through it. It is invisible and it has no collisions. It's not a problem. Okay, there we go. Uh, the next tutorial is going to introduce ideas about on-screen text, and that is the first step into tracking how many objects you've picked up. Thanks for joining. Let me know if you have any questions.